This is a quick installation video on how to install a cycle 4.6 amp battery. I'm putting it in a F650. The kits come with the battery, two 14 inch zip ties, and Velcro mounting pads for the battery box, plus these two individual connectors in red and black to connect to the battery terminals that are existing in the motorcycle. Batteries also come with an option to have a dual quick connect. After you remove your original battery, make sure that your battery box is cleared of all the extra parts that you don't need. Any. The next step is to check to see which position your battery will fit best in your battery box. The additional element is this accessory cable which I'm going to install in the same place that I had it before. This runs. The great thing about these quick connects is once you install them on your existing battery connectors, uh, there's almost no chance of ever shorting your battery and it's also incredibly easy to take your battery in and out of the motorcycle. I recommend using two 10 millimeter box sand wrenches to tighten your battery bolt. Once you've installed your quick connects to the battery lugs, you simply need to use uh, electrician's tape. Now that your battery lugs are taped up, it's almost impossible to uh, cause any kind of a short with the battery with these quick disconnects and you're ready to begin your uh, battery placement. Um, you should pre-plan your wiring so that that's out of the way and uh, we're going to go ahead and put the battery. The battery doesn't need any kind of foam padding as long as you have it uh, firmly positioned so it doesn't move. Um, now that it's sitting in its uh, correct location, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, tighten these zip ties and you want these to be absolutely tight so that there's no movement of the battery when the motorcycle is moving. I'm going to use a pair of pliers to get these uh, zip ties as tight as possible. Off the extra piece of wire here. Okay. okay. Now we're ready to hook the battery up to the quick connects. And they snap in place and they're extremely easy to remove. Just simply twist them and they come right out. After you have the battery all set, uh, these quick connects actually can attach together. They slide together like this and then make sure they're lined up and you have a finished connection. And now the connectors are the same as one single connector. So here's what the new battery installation looks like. You can see there's a lot of extra room in this battery box. Here's the battery voltage. Uh, it's been sitting a few days, hasn't been running, so the battery keeps a pretty, pretty steady uh, 13 and a half volts.